Greetings, unsettled souls. You're about to be incredibly unsettled. Look at the fire, symbolic of the end. Are you out of your mind? How many of you, and I just did an experiment real quick. That's why this video is so short, but I got a point here. I've posted a bunch of videos in the last uh, over a year and a half. Movies about Bilderberg proving the things that really happen. I've posted videos about the police state. I've posted videos about Fukushima disaster and how it's sending poison every day all over the world in our food. How it's affecting you and your children's health. I've done reports on GMOs. There is no doubt about it. GMOs are incredibly toxic. That's why we're seeing kidney disease rise through the roof. And yet, out of all the videos, I bet you this one gets even more hits just because of the title. Alright, General Curiosity brought you here, but why did you pick this video when there's so many other videos I have? What it is it about the end of the world that has no basis in fact that made you click this video? when I have so many other videos with tons of facts in them and other independent uh, journalists will give you the same uh, answer you, sometimes you do these videos that if people would spend 10 minutes and watch it they would their IQ would double and maybe they don't click on it but proof of the end of the world well then you're gonna click on that here's my thoughts on the end of the world First of all, the Mayans did not predict the end of the world in any way, shape, matter, or form. What they did is one sect had their calendar end. A lot of other sects had their calendars go on. This is like saying if in 5,000 years they find uh, America and they say, well, American scientists did not believe in God. And we base this on the fact that Stephen Hawking didn't. Really? Saying that the Mayan calendar is going to end because one calendar ended is the same kind of false reasoning. If the world ends as I'm doing this video as it's uploading or mere moments after it hits the great net, then I hope that God finds me worthy to go straight to heaven. Always been a Christian, always supported other people's right not to be. But I don't think any decision that is going to be made regarding eternal fates of any of us are going to be made with any greater haste today than any other day. Ignore these things, people. When your time comes and you stand before your maker, or you stand before Darwin for some of you, think about it. What are you going to say? Did you do your best? Well, if you're doing your best, then maybe it would be wise for all of us to make sure that the news that matters, the things that are real, the way that our country is being overrun by a tyrannical government, or at least a tyrannical leaning government, the way that America today looks exactly like Nazi Germany looked prior to the full implementation of Hitler's evil. By that I mean, as soon as I say that America's like Hitler, people want to shut me off because they think I'm saying that Obama wants to gas millions of Jews. Please bring Jews out of the equation for a minute. What they believed, what the Nazi party believed, that the youth generation was all that mattered and that the older generations, people in their 60s or 70s, are expendable. The fact that uh, the, the Department of Homeland Security is named almost uh, the Fatherland Security is what Adolf Hitler had. Coming for the guns, that's what Adolf Hitler did. Um, indoctrinating people in school to worship uh, the Obama administration the way it's being done. That was the first step Hitler took in the Hitler Youth. Now granted, many of you are listening to this and what you're doing is you're saying we're nothing like Nazi Germany. That's because you're thinking of Nazi Germany when his evil was fully implemented. Think about Nazi Germany. Go look up uh, uh, Hitler's Children. There are five episodes of it. Watch it. 
We are where episode one, maybe the beginning of episode two is. It, it's a full, it's a true story documentary. We are not full-blown Nazi Germany, and I'm not saying that we are. What I'm saying is the evil that they believed is exactly the evil that we are being indoctrinated with today. Um, other things, GMOs, poisoning us. Look up GMO rats. Um, Fukushima, sending tons of poison over. Us using depleted uranium on other countries, this causing them to have cancers. When you stand before your creator, whenever the end does happen, these are the things you're going to want to say that you tried to do something about. You're not going to want to stand there and tell them that you thought the world was going to end and you put all your time and effort into something like that. And the reason I'm mentioning it is not because this video is going to be prudent after tomorrow, because it's not. But there are going to be other end-of-the-world hoaxes. And there's masses of people that fall for them. Don't be one of them. And to those of you that clicked on this video because you're a, a listener to the show, um, or those of you that clicked on it just out of pure interest, this broadcast uh, isn't, isn't uh, meant to laugh at you. There's going to be a lot of people that hit this video because they really believe the world is going to end. And it is. The world as we know it, even worse than death, um, the coming of perhaps a second wave of fascism is hitting this nation. That is where the end is going to come from, more than likely. You are listening to the correct views. Thank you for doing so. Good night, friends. God bless. Don't forget, it is brought to you by the Arcadia Grill, located on Court Avenue. That is in downtown Canton, Ohio. That is where you want to go. Do some shopping, head down to the Arcadia Grill, and get some delicious food. Please donate to this show if you can. Every penny that you give to this show goes to a better show, and I work very hard to make these for you. Good night, friends. God bless, and uh, thanks for listening. It is greatly appreciated.